Hello there, everyone. The Andrada here, and welcome back to episode 37 of our Enigmatica 6. Let's Enigmatica 6. Let's play. Man, I say that so fast sometimes I get stuck on that 6. Uh, anyway, where today we're going to continue with our industrial foregoing. So we have our latex processing going on. Um, I can probably get that bucket of latex. I think the quest requires a bucket of latex. Am I correct in that? No, it just requires a latex processing, processing unit, which requires a bucket of latex. So if I grab that, do I have enough? I do. So we have our bucket of latex for that, and we can go ahead and continue on with that journey. However, real quick, I want to set up, um, I want to set up a fluid storage wall. Now we're going to need fluids throughout the series and everything. Um, and so we're going to need to be able to, you know, get fluids into our refined storage system, like latex, water, lava, gases, stuff that we're going to need to use. So I want to go ahead and, well, gases aren't a fluid, but you know what I mean. I want like a fluid gas storage wall so we have access to it in our refined storage system. So let's go ahead and make another ender tank, which needs another cauldron, ender tank, and I need another black dye. And boop. Okay, so now we have our latex in here. So let's go ahead and get this set up. And we're just gonna, you know, kind of like uh, put it, well, we were gonna put it there. But what I meant to do was have a block placed there put that there and then break the block behind it. Does that look okay? I think that'll be okay. That's fine. And we're going to have a uh, importer on the back. So it'll import that liquid into our refined storage system, which is going to come in handy later because we need to have it, this in our system in order to do our auto crafting. So let's get cables and we need more cables. I taught the system how to make cables, correct? I did not. That needs to be fixed. Yes, I know, pillagers. You are outside and you are annoying. We need to teach the system how to make that, uh, which we will soon. This doesn't require, like, any special. Okay, while that's cooking, let's go ahead and get this set up here. importer it's gonna go here and we want it set up to import fluids and we can have it whitelist latex so this can only input latex it's only hooked up to this so it sh really shouldn't matter but just in case um, so now if we we can't see it yet we need to get a fluid uh, Fluid grid. Grid. Yeah, it's the regular fluid grid. Did I teach the system how to make grids? I did not, because they're honestly not used super duper often. Once you get your base grids done, you don't really need more grids. There's a grid. Let's request those, and while we do that, let's go upstairs, take a nap, and we're going to teach the system how to make cables real quick, because uh, apparently I never taught that. It's all these little basics that you forget about. Cables. You're going to learn how to do that, and then we have a fluid grid, and we should be good to go to make that. Bam. Where is our axe? Go ahead and put this guy right here. It should turn on and uh, importer is the incorrect item. Just now realize. External storage is what we needed actually. Not an importer. Let's put these cables away. External storage. I put my cables away. One more try. External storage. Bam. Good. 
now where did I put those back there so let's go back here and let's try this again okay pretend that none of that just happened let's do this let's do this the importer can go back in the system external storage can come here which has no inventory the cable can come out here and now I don't think we can see it in here actually we do have to go up to that fluid grid if we go here, we should see latex. Where's my latex? We want this to be on small. I swear that's how it works. Am I doing something wrong here? Somebody enlighten me. I don't want it stored in the system. I want an external storage. Oh, a 256K fluid storage part. Well, I mean, that's nice. I don't. <laughs> At refined external. Yeah, there's only one external storage. And it doesn't have a, uh, it does not have a GUI, correct? Does it? It does. And there's your sign. It wouldn't let me access the GUI before I had hooked it up to the system, which is what my issue was, because I tried beforehand, and that's why I said it didn't have one. And look, we have five total buckets, and it is increasing. Fantastic. We have fluids. And if I under, if I remember correctly, if you have buckets in your system, so let's get two buckets. You can come over here, and you can pick up a bucket of it, and you can put a bucket back in. Nice. Okay, let's clean up our inventory a little bit. We got some upgrades. Uh, we can put the bail bomb planks away. Those can go away. We don't need the pedestals anymore. I don't need that. That was from when we were exporting. Actually, I probably will need that back. I don't know why I tore it apart. If we turn on our uh, builder miner or quarry, we're going to definitely need that set back up so we don't fill up our system with terracotta. Let's reset our Akashic Tome, clean up our inventory, and get going. Okay, so wheat. Now we need our latex processing unit. So that's going to require us to make a furnace real quick, and it's going to require a bucket of water. Water is something we should have available to our system. Um, let's get another external storage because we have a sink downstairs. Do I have all the stuff? No, I can have all the stuff though. I really should teach the system how to make an external storage so I can request them as needed. Alas, that is a task for later. Oh, look, instantly eight. That was kind of nice. Okay, I have a sink down here, correct? Yes. And I have refined storage cabling somewhere. Nowhere convenient, so we can just go ahead and make another sink. I really don't want to run cables all across the floor there. Hey, look, remember that terracotta that I was... Uh, you know, just dismantling and destroying. Hey, we need some. You know how I can get some real quick? Turn you on. And off. Terracotta. We quickly got 513 terracotta. That is intense and insane. Buckets. I know, I know. I literally was just down here, but let's grab this bucket, clean up a little bit, and we need water added to the system. Hey, you know what? Water is a fluid, and it can go over here, so we have a sink set up. This is kind of like, it's like our storage area, you know? We got our compression drawers, and then we got our fluids on this side. So let's put a sink here with an external storage in the back. And set it to fluids. And bam, it is already maxed out at 20 buckets. That is quick. So we now have water available to the system as well. So anytime we need water crafted, we can. However, it wants a bucket of water, which it isn't able to do that apparently so that was 
pointless to do at the moment. I can teach the system how to make a bucket of water, though. You, 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 latex. Bam, latex processing unit ready to go. So what we can do is then put this guy, let's say here, he's gonna require water, he's gonna require power, and he's gonna require, he needs water, power, and latex, and a way to export items out of him. So let's go ahead and give him a little bit of a gap, a block space so we can access the back. Uh, let's get our universal cables out and get him some power. Bam, he's good to go on power. Now water, we need to get water and we need to get latex into here. Now what I don't wanna do is pump latex into him from our refined storage system. I really want our latex to split from this into this and into this. So we don't necessarily need a ton of latex for the crafting mechanics. Um, so let's get mechanical pipes. And so that way we are splitting our latex between the two machines. And then we just need water to get into this guy. And we could set up just set up another sink, which I think I'm gonna do because I don't have any, uh, actually I am gonna have refined storage over here because I need to have the, latex and water and I want the rubber but I want the tiny dry rubber only ever gets crafted into regular rubber plastic so do we have a crafter do we have crafters we do have crafters I'm gonna add a crafter to the system as well as a smelter we're gonna go straight okay so what we don't want is this we're gonna try and rearrange this just a little bit We're gonna keep everything contained so that we have just a smelter, bam, and the smelter is just gonna do our, um, turn the rubber directly into plastic. So we have plastic automatically being produced and then our latex is being produced. So let us set up this guy, let's say over here. And this is not, this is why we're putting it behind the wall because it's not gonna be the prettiest setup in the world. Not what I intended. You go back down, you go there. We want our universal cables, and I'm gonna need another one. Why put any of them away, I don't know. And then we want our mechanical pipes. Go ahead and start, I think I wasted a little bit of latex, but that's okay. He's gonna start filling up again, good. So from him, I need to get refined storage cabling run over here and again I did not teach the system how to make this so I'm gonna have to request some by hand oh no I, I may have enough so let's run this across the roof straight back there we go and Through there, okay. So we can set this up so that we get um, not you. We want a exporter, and we want you to export water into this guy. So you're gonna do fluids, and I need a bucket of water. Let's go, let's go. Let's do a couple housekeeping tasks real quick. Okay, so first off, cables. Find storage cables, that's you. And then water bucket is Isn't there a way to switch it to fluids? Yes, that is you. You're not a processing recipe though. Huh. Well, let's see if that works. I'm not, if I request a bucket of water, craft me one of those. Yeah, you ain't doing it, chief. Let's 
cancel. But if I do this, I can pick up 2.1 million buckets of water. Nice. Yeah, I needed water. So I could set the exporter to export water. You export water and now you're doing it. No. Yes. Yes. You are just extremely slow. Uh, speed upgrades. Give me another one. Do you think? I know it's technically not a stack, but can you stack upgrade? You can. It looks like it, it pulled a stack of water. Okay, so this is now producing tiny dry rubber. Sweet. So then what we need to do is have the rubber export out of here into a crafter from RF Tools. So let's go ahead and get that going. Wrong inventory. That is you. Goodness gracious. Oh, the way that this thing is set up drives me nuts. And there are two crafters. Make all that. Crafter, you go there and redstone torch. You're there, you're there. Oh, and I forgot. Don't you have to... I have to convert these, don't I? There we go. Crafter. Crafter needs power. But we put the crafter here. And then we get a logistical transporter to pull the tiny dry rubber out of this guy. And we morphing tool it up so that this is pulling and it did yes it's got it in there okay so now basically what we need to do is wait until we have nine of these uh, and then we can continue on I believe we could actually this has GEI integration correct yes nice so that's gonna craft that into the dry rubber and we want it to go to the external yes okay Lastly, we are going to want a redstone furnace. Don't need anything fancy here. To be honest, I could go grab the one that we have upstairs because it has some upgrades, but copper gear, we need two of those. And this guy, it's not that big a deal. So this guy's going to go here. We're going to give him power. And he's going to have to go right here. Bam. Give me those back, please. You're going to go there. And then we're going to have a logistical transporter set up here. You are going to input from the back. And auto input is fine. Though this should automatic, this should pull it anyway. Incorrect tool. So you are going to pull the rubber and then you're going to export to the top and we can have a importer. Oh man, it'd be really nice if we could like just have this one block sitting out here Boop. and that's all we see because the exporter, if it sits here, hey, it's fine. It's fine. That runs there, and bam. So now, whenever we get to nine tiny dry rubber, you are processing your latex. You just need more latex. Here's a question. Y'all know what's coming. Let's clean up a little bit. Put that there, that there, and... Does that work? Well, it's kind of hard to see if we don't go crazy. Hey, it works. 
We should be getting quite a bit of latex. Yeah, check it out. There we go. Hey, and it did it. And look, it's crafting, plastic. And if we go into here, we have a piece of plastic. That's what we wanted to see. And what we don't want is to run out of logs. So what we can do is, hmm. <laughs> How many upgrades can you have on a pedestal? Let's go back to the pedestals mod and check this out. Upgrades, displaying items are moving. You'll need a number of these upgrades to get started. Storage tanks, relays, item transfer. Oh, you know what we can do is transfer. There's a transfer upgrade, correct? For pedestals? Am I correct in that? Like an item transfer? How does that work? Pedestals, da, 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 linking tool, augments, enchantments. They can transfer displayed items from one to another by linking them together. They can also transfer fluids, energy, and experience in their upgrades this way. This is done with the linking tool. Shift right click a pedestal with the tool to choose the receiving pedestal, and then do the same to choose the sending pedestal. If this sounds backwards. You can craft the linking tool into a reverse linking tool, which links sender to receiver. Okay. Each sending pedestal can be linked to a maximum of eight. So if we do this, oh goodness, I can't get in anywhere. <laughs> um, so let's say we get another pedestal and we get the upgrade that allows us to import from a system. And that is item import, import upgrade. Just need a hopper. Let's see how this works. And then we just need a chest and the chest type doesn't really matter. So if we get a pedestal, we put it here. Let's try and keep in mind where our cables are because we're going to have to export. So we need to put this next to the chest and we put this guy on there. If I put say a chest in here and then I get our linking tool, And now that's what I know the reverse. So from the sender to there. Whoa, what just happened? What is this? I thought I knew how this would work. Apparently I don't. The import and export augment allows you to do just that. Import will pull from an inventory below the pedestal. Uh, I see, I see. So what we could do, can I do that? Yes, that is technically below the pedestal now. Hey, hey, check that out. We got a sapling. Now give it to me. So if we have, like, say, acacia logs, when we get to that point, we can have them export. just grab say three put the rest back in there we can get a exporter we can have an exporter export acacia logs into this chest this is a mess of cabling, by the way. I'm sure you noticed, but it is a mess of cabling. So we say we want to export Acacia logs into there and we put those in our system. Bam, look, check it out. And then they're going there. And then we can go from the shift right click here to here, link successful, pull them out, put them in there. Magic. Pedestals are magical. So we just need to get uh, auto sapling growing, which I do need to get a tree farm going at some point so we can figure that out. And I also need to figure out how to, you know, get myself out of here. Is this a good time for the shrink? 
Man, we are working on a lot of things this episode, but I want to get... Um, I can't tell if I have a stone button, so let's just go ahead and throw that in there. Personal shrinking device. This shrinks you down into a single block space. So if we do use it... Oh, it's charging up. There we go. Look, I can get in and out. <laughs> okay, make me bigger. Uh, what's the button again to see yourself? Like F4, F5? Yeah, look. Boop. I'm a little mini. It's a mini me. Woohoo! And then we shift right click again and we're back to full size. Super handy. And I didn't have to worry about getting out of there. Our cabling is super ugly here though. But that doesn't matter because we have this automated and we can just kind of do this and bam and no one ever has to see it again so that is importing and we should be getting plastic into the system now it's not very fast and we can get upgrades on all of these machines which we eventually will but you can't get upgrades until you have latex available to you so yeah uh, i wanted to go to sleep Wow, we dove into a lot this episode. We got our pedestals, figured out a little bit about pedestals and how that works. We got this fluid extractor set up. That was last episode. We got crafting, auto crafting, excuse me, going with this guy. We have automatic processing of plastic going with this guy. We are set up. Now, Here's the thing, this is always gonna run nonstop, no matter what, forever. Doesn't refined storage at refined have a item detector, wireless transmitter, filter, security card? No. Hmm. <laughs> at RF tools. This has a inventory checker. Can this check a refined storage system? Is it be nice to turn off the auto processing like so that it doesn't burn keep burning through like all the latex and everything and just keep filling up our system? Can this check a refined storage system? Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't even know where I would put this. Okay. I don't even know if this is the right tool to use. Um, set the amount of items. Let's say we have one. I mean, that's fine. Plastic. Are you outputting? Yeah, see, so set the slot index. I don't. Detector? Oh, a detector. I've actually never used this before. Real quick, before we wrap up, let's uh, see how this works. I'm going to assume this is what I'm needing, not. The other thing, a detector. So if I put, let's say we detect one plastic, bam. What are you doing? Emit signal when above the amount. Hey, look, it does. It emits a redstone signal. Sweet. So if we go here and I say, okay, we have you know, 15 or like 128 plastic. We can have it emit a redstone signal and then we can have this thing, redstone mode, run with redstone signal. And we can set this up to be plastic less than 256. Emit signal when under 256. So that should be at processing, correct? Well, whenever it gets Let's see. I just want to verify that I did set this up correctly. I think it takes 100. Or is it 200? 
Oh, it's 100. Okay, cool. And then once it hits the 200 pla 256 plastic, it'll shut this off. So that way we're not just, you know, burning through and filling up our system with plastic. Sweet. So now if we look, we have four plastic available to us. It's going to take a while for us to get to 156 plastic, let me tell you that. Um, but oh, can we actually... Will you do that? No, you won't. Okay. It was worth a shot. But anyway, wrapping up point. That's the end of this episode. So we got quite a bit accomplished here. Auto processing of our plastic. We uh, dove into pedestals a little bit to see how those work, which is that's super handy. That wireless item transfer and the block placing and all that stuff. So we're definitely going to dive into more of that in the future. We got some auto liquidification going on here. If we pop back up to our system, we should see how much we have in this fluid grid. Again, 2.1 million buckets of water and 10 buckets of uh, latex. That's not bad. So with that being said, our foundations are set in place. So we can go ahead and next episode, continue on with industrial foregoing and start working on getting our dissolution chamber set up, which allows us to get our upgrades, which allows us to get machine frames and all the other stuff that we're gonna need from this mod, including the infinity hammer. That is one of my big goals is to get this thing because it is bonkers with its damage and stuff. And these guys that are standing out here, as soon as I get that, they're gonna be taken care of. You can, you can bet on it. Uh, so thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. If you uh, enjoyed what you watched, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. Give me some tips. Give me some help. Uh, tell me I'm being dumb. Whatever you want. Let me know. Uh, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks and have a good one.